G'day all. Here's um, my two uh, transmissions that I've machined up. Uh, the upright vertical and my horizontal. I've put some um, photos up and some videos up uh, across uh, a raft of social media, YouTube, uh, Facebook and some steam engine forums. And I've had a lot of inquiries and people have asked me could I say a little bit more about them. So, a lot of people have asked me for measurements and all that. Look, I don't really, I don't really know if measurements are all that helpful. I can tell you a little bit. The the steel I've used here is just mole steel. That's that's eight mil steel. The the base is eight mil steel. Um, cut these out on a bandsaw and um, use the angle grinder to get that nice curve in them. Mig welded them up. You've got to be really careful when you, you drill these. I made up a, a, a jig so I knew that the when I drilled them the axle was going to go straight through. They've got roller bearings uh, in each axle has got a roller bearing. At the end of the video I'll touch on that a little bit more and give you a bit of a, um, a hint about that. Um, so how it all started I made these years ago but they weren't hobbed and I made a video on YouTube uh, I think a week ago about a process that I've discovered and it's working really well for me about hobbing which is putting that uh, toothed grip onto these cone pulley step wheels that I've made works really well if you have a look at that video you'll be really impressed how you use that you use that with a, a, a tap uh, on, a, on a lathe um, what else can I say? This is 3 inch aluminium. I'm thinking of, uh, the other day I got um, some 4 inch uh, aluminium bar stock and there's enough room on me on here, I might put a, a 4 inch pulley on this one just to give a little bit more um, different speeds it's amazing how see that one there I'll just turn this now that's a little bit hard to turn that a, a, a baby could turn that with a little finger so be able to change that just one other hint there that's three mil if you're going to buy uh, this online don't use the normal steam engine um, green line that we use go one thicker or too thick, it go up to three mil. But uh, the the amount of speeds that we get using one of these transmissions is is just incredible. Now, I'll mention that about bearings. Now, hopefully, this is gonna might just change the camera. I'll be back in a sec. Now, our steam engines that we use, our toy model steam engines. They're not the most powerful engines, so anything that we can do to slow down or stop or eliminate as much friction as we as possible is good. So as I said on the um, vertical and the horizontal transmission, there's ball bearing races on each axle. So they're just the normal bearings. What I've done is I've popped the seals out, they're seal bearings, I've popped the seals out quite easy to do with a scalpel I'll just show you on this one you just gently get the scalpel on the side and that's gone so you can see the bearing in there you see the ball the balls now they'll be packed with grease I put them in a jar of kerosene flush them around then hit them with a bit of degreaser and then I, I use a really good gun oil on them and what that does, they go from not turning very much at all. Like you, you can put that on the axle with the like that as a seal bearing. It won't spin at all. Once you've taken the grease out and put some light oil, some gun oil in there, you put that on the bearing. That that can spin for maybe a minute. So it makes such a difference on these transmissions or anything that you're using bearings for in your steam or model engines if you're using 
um, on a hit and miss engine, a steam engine, even a Stirling engine, if you can decrease that friction, you're on for a win. So that's my main hint, is to pop that seal off, get rid of the pack grease. You'll find a lot of these cheap bearings that come from China, when you pop that off, some of them don't have grease, some of them have, have grease, some have got dried out grease. But get rid of the grease, use a bit of Kero, a bit of degreaser, and then re-oil them with just light oil. Now, the, the way we use them, you're not going to get dirt, dust or dirt grit in there, so there's no worries about not having them sealed. As, as kids, our, our um, skateboards and roller skates, they were all open bearings and we, that didn't bother us at all. A little bit more noisy, you can definitely hear the, the, the races going a little bit more. But again, you'll be really happy with how, how much difference it makes taking those seals off the bearings. Alright. Okay, I'm going to put up some still photos. So you can see uh, up close how that hobbing looks on these cones. Um, the, these are, it's one piece of solid uh, two inch aluminium and so my advice is to step it down and step it down from two inches. If you've got three, if you've got three inch um, aluminium stock, you could make it three inches and you could have one, two, three, four, five, you could have, have six steps. If you've got thicker, you can make make it thicker, make it longer. It's really there, there's no computational thing here. I've just made this on lathe in the shed. Um, I, I don't know what all the different speeds are or anything like that. But all I know is that you make one of these for yourself, or if you've got a machinist friend, and you can get them to make one up for you, you will be really stoked with it because you can run a pump slowly, you can run a fan quickly. You can, it just opens up so many different speeds for your either hit and miss engine, uh, sterling engine or steam engine. Uh, I made these brass bolts up out of some hex bar. I, I would advise trying to get a heavy piece of um, hardwood just when you've got your belt coming off your steam engine, you've got a belt coming off to, off. To an accessory you'll get some um, it'll want to move what I did do these I made these little brass things that flip out like so right, that's picking up so there's there's these four things that are on screws they flip out they've got small holes drilled through them and what they do is I've got these long fur pins so that goes in there lock down so I can have four pins and that does not move at all when you're when using it in practice when you're um you're using it to run an accessory but anyway I just pack them back up so they just fold away that's a pretty good hint so there they are the upright and the horizontal really good I hope that's helped everybody uh, any other questions just free but feel free to ask and uh, always there to help and uh, as always I really appreciate all the comments and the views and um, thanks for watching okay bye for now